Hey guys, welcome to my first YouTube video ever. Obviously by the title, you can see that I'm doing a Q&A, which is funny because usually I think Q&As are for famous people with fans actually invested in their lives, but here I am with my mom <laughs> and probably like my four friends commenting and liking every video, but this is for you. I'm gonna get into why like I kind of wanted to make a YouTube video, or not a YouTube video, a YouTube channel, God. But that will be answered in the questions, the point of this whole video. So stay tuned. I'm kind of basic and I only got like a regular fry and a chicken sandwich, but I am very weird with my chicken sandwiches now. For all you TikTok addicts like I am, I'm gonna show you a little trick. It's immaculate life changing. It's life changing, I promise. <laughs> you take the bun, take the bun off, right? Down. Down. You take the bun. Make sure the pickles are off the, the, the chicken. You need to have the chicken by itself. Place it in here, in the little package thing. But this is where it gets yummy. So you have the Chick-fil-A sauce, right? And you pick another combo sauce, whatever. I mean, some people told me the buffalo sauce is really good with the Chick-fil-A sauce, or sriracha sauce, whatever it was. <laughs> Look at that. And then you put it in, pull this off. Dump it in. You know, I like my fingers, probably gross. But they're clean, I promise. Then after you put your sauces in the Chick-fil-A bag. <laughs> it just ripped! It's all over the carpet. Oh God. Oh God. Oh no. Champ, no! No! Okay, just to finish this up, you after you shake it, but mine didn't shake it, the bag just ripped, I should sue. You put it on, slap it on, it's a meal, it's all over my clothes. Okay. So that went wrong. Now my carpet is a little stained, but whatever. Besides the point, my it gets off they got on my shirt too, whatever. Besides the point, besides the point. I took a bite out of it already because I got mad that I spilled it, but <laughs> Yummy. So I asked a bunch of people on this thing called YOLO, you put it on Snapchat and like they can ask anonymous questions, which is nice. I got a pretty good amount, but to all the people that did send me legitimate questions and stuff, even the weird ones, thank you. But to all the people that got real bold, <laughs> real bold because the question was anonymous, let me tell you something. You're still irrelevant to me. What was your biggest motivation for starting a YouTube channel? P.S. I'm so excited to watch these vids. OMG, Abby. Well, I'm glad you asked, Abby. I don't have an answer. I know what type of vibes and energy I kind of want to give off to you guys. I just know I'm a really positive person, and if there's one thing I'm good at giving people, it's positivity and happiness. I'm hoping I can do that through my channel, too. At the end of the day, like, I'm seriously here to just have fun. I'm here for a good time, not a long time. And I want you guys to kind of, you know, journey with me, so. What's one thing you want to change about yourself and one thing you never want to change? Wow. This fry is so mushy. One thing I never want to change about myself would definitely have to be my, like, overwhelming positivity. I think that's my best, best trait is, you know, just having the energy and the vibe that everyone wants to be around. And something that I would change Maybe my imagination. I love having a big imagination, but sometimes it makes me naive and or sends me in the wrong direction. This isn't a question, but I thought it was kind of funny. I don't have any questions. I'm just supporting, but I'm also not fake. <laughs> Cause I put on my story, if you don't ask me a question, you're a snake. I don't make the rules. And that's so funny that whoever this is sent that spot. I'm glad you're not fake. I'm glad you're supporting. I'm glad I hope you're watching. Comment. Is there anything you would have changed about your high school experience? <clears throat> Honestly, for the most part, I probably wouldn't. Unpopular opinion, I had a good time at the high school that I went to. I had fun, I had a lot of friends, I was nice to a lot of people, but I do wish I could change would definitely be some of the people I surrounded myself with. And a little observation I made is that high school is one of the few places you can be cruel and nasty to someone and like, get respect for it, how ridiculous. And I was around some of those people that got respect for being cool and nasty to some people, and I'm now looking back at it, 
it wasn't cool to me. Hey guys, this is Vari from the future. This isn't anyone in specific, but if the shoe fits, that's on you. Being cool and nasty to someone isn't respect points. If anything, it's it's really ruining your character if you had one anyways. For those people that were that person in high school, I hope you change. And if not, please do, because as we get older, we're all realizing how wet it is. Carrying on, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Okay, close your eyes, just like, imagine this. So you took a nap right after work, or whatever you were doing, you took a nap. Feel the sun rays like beaming on your face, like as the sun's going down and the sun is setting, and you like wake up from your nap, worry free, happy the day's over. You put on your robe, grab your glass of wine you left at the side of your table, pour a glass, roll it around, walk, 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 walk to your balcony where you have a beautiful, beautiful view of the mountains in LA, California, it's a beautiful California view. Still swimming your wine, you're sipping it, putting your hands on the railing, and you're just watching the sun go down, feeling the warm slash cool ocean breeze. That is where I see myself in 10 years. Now, how I'm gonna get there, I don't know. Spill some high school tea without naming names. Well, I won't tell any high school tea, but I will tell a funny story about how we stole a hamster from the pet store before. I don't know if this is like incriminating evidence or something, but whatever, it's a funny story. This happened a while ago anyway. Sue me, I don't care. So we went and got pancakes one morning and my friends were like, hey, let's go pet some dogs at the pet store. And I was like, okay, like I'm down, like it's dogs, like, I love dogs. And so one group of friends were by the hamsters, or by the, the hamsters. Yeah, by the hamsters. One group of friends were by the hamsters and then like me and my other friends were by the ferrets and rabbits, right? Minding our own business, just kind of doing what we do. And little did I know, the group by the hamsters were literally conspiring on how to steal one. So next thing you know, I see one of my friends stuff it in her pocket, not like viciously or aggressively or like in a harmful way, but she like kind of places it in her pocket and runs out. And so me and my other friends are confused, like what's going on? Like what is happening? So we run after them and they're like, get in the car, get in the car, get in the car, get in the car. So we jump in our two different cars and I get in the car with the hamster. In it. So I'm holding the hamster as we're driving, literally having our great escape. And I get a call from the girl in the other car like, And so we stopped at the red light. I literally had my leg. My leg was out of the car. It was literally going out of the car. And boom! The person driving in my car rear-ended this poor man and his like bumpers ripped off and everything and it was just a bad experience. We gave the hamster away to that friend's sister and she gave it to her daughter and now Rebecca is living happily ever after. Unfortunately, she has died and passed away a year ago, I think. Rest in peace, Rebecca. Favorite outfit you've worn? Um, okay, well, I'll try and put a picture right here, right here, right here. I don't really know how that's gonna look, cause I don't know, I'm not used to editing. I'm trying to have a really big overhaul on my closet. So I gave away a lot of my older clothes, and all like a lot of the neutral clothes that I had, neutral colored clothes, and brought them to Savers. I gave them away. And I've just been rebuilding my closet from the ground up, just as like a restyle, cause I'm kind of bored with how I've been dressing through high school, middle school, and elementary school, and I'm trying to like upgrade it a little bit. It's going well so far. Like, oh my god, why is this string so long? Oh <sighs> Get shorter. How do you think you've changed from middle school to high school to now? I think that's what the question said. Well, actually, surprisingly, and this might surprise a lot of you, that in middle school, I was actually super socially awkward. I hated talking to people, I hated going out, I hated even going to school. In high school, I completely, like, was rebirthed. <laughs> I cracked open the shell, and then I got super social. I loved going out, I loved meeting people, I loved being social. I just loved it, I loved it, I loved it. High school really brought out the best of me. How are you friends with so many people? I think everyone deserves a fair chance and a fair amount of respect when you first meet them. I love talking to people, I love being social, and I'm not exclusive to who I want to be social with. Do you regret anything? Um, no, I try not to regret anything I do because, or anything other people do, I don't care. I, I try not to regret my decisions, mainly because I kind of live by everything happens for a reason. I really believe that everything happens for a reason. 
whatever happens, bad or good, it's happening for a reason. So, we finally reached the end of the first video. This actually took a lot longer than it should have because I lost a bunch of footage, footage because I couldn't record. Wait, I couldn't record. Because I didn't record. I didn't press the stupid record button, so I lost a lot of footage, but it's fine, it's over now. Thank you all so much for watching. And even if you skipped it, even if you swiped up and like skipped most of the video, perfectly fine with me. And thank you for even taking like time out of your day to even do that. Um, thank you for all the support some of my friends and family have been giving me. I probably wouldn't have started a YouTube channel without it. I really do appreciate it. And I want this to be an experience for all of us. Obviously it's gonna be an experience for me, but if I can, you know, take you guys with me, I want you guys to feel like you're with me on this journey and not just watching my journey. I also want it to feel like I'm kind of talking with everyone. Like, I don't want it to feel like I'm talking to a camera. Thank you for joining me on the beginning of my very big journey. See you guys. <sighs> I'm so annoyed. I just lost all of the footage I just recorded. This is gonna go at the end of the beginning. I don't care.